What's going on everybody? It's your boy J-Ming back checking in with the people back with another video. Hopefully everyone is doing well and having a great week. We are almost there y'all. We are one day away from The Last of Us Part 2. And yes, I will be live streaming that game on my channel 1201 Eastern Friday morning. Come check me out. We're going to have a lot of fun playing through Last of Us Part 2 on this channel. But this is not what this video is about. This video is going to be about Horizon Forbidden West. I, I want to call it Horizon Zero Dawn 2 so bad, but it is not Horizon Zero Dawn 2. I don't even think it's Horizon 2 Forbidden West. I think it's just Horizon Forbidden West. Now, in terms of the PlayStation 5 event, now that the smoke has cleared, now that the dust has settled, Horizon Forbidden West was easily one of the most beautiful things we've seen at that event i was a little bit disappointed that we didn't get to see gameplay but i know in the near future we will and especially after the new information we got today i know some more videos some more information some more footage some gameplay is coming soon now horizon forbidden west is going to be my most anticipated game when it launches period it's not even close horizon forbidden west is the sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn, which was one of my favorite new IPs this generation. It wasn't without its low points. It wasn't, it wasn't without its faults. Specifically, I didn't enjoy the human combat too much. I felt like it was a little uh, underwhelming. Um, I just didn't feel like it flowed really good. But the machine combat, which is the meat and potatoes of that game, was excellent. Um, I thought some of the side activities were pretty good. Overall, I felt like the open world was very Ubisoft-esque. And that's not a, a bad thing, but it's also not something that I care for in uh, my open world games. I want, you know, I want open world. To be honest, like the activities in open world games, they're cool. Um, but it's also about how you design them. Don't make them feel like a, a chore list, you know? Um, the collectibles and the activities, you know? Kind of enter, you know, have them mixed in with the actual world itself rather than you come to a certain location and you have these certain activities, you know? Make it more of um, you going on side quests and you find this and, oh, it's that type of activity here, but it's not something you expected to be there from a list of things that you get when you get there, you know? So just make it a little bit more inspiring is what i would say um and other than that the story i thought was really good some of it was told through audio logs i'm not a big fan of that and if you are going to do it make it a little bit more uh player friendly because i believed you couldn't even move around or like uh, you know when when the audio log was playing you couldn't really move around or at least not at a high a high speed you know you kind of had to walk while they were playing so you know little stuff like that i think they can immediately improve on and make it a, a better overall game but today we got some more information about the game and based on how much i love the first one and some of the improvements that i'm hearing about today horizon forbidden west is easily going to be a game of the year contender when it launches now what we got from the new video and i'll have the link for that down in the description is that horizon forbidden west refers to a mysterious new frontier that stretches from Utah, USA to the Pacific Ocean on the west coast of the country. Now, the first game pretty much had locations around Utah, Colorado, uh, Arizona, and even Wyoming if you played the Frozen Wild DLC. So the fact that, you know, you're kind of going to start in that area, it seems, and then expand all the way west, we easily know that this game is going to be much bigger than the first one and that's exciting that's exciting because even though the first game was you know pretty good in size with the power of the playstation 5 they're able to make the worlds more detailed more vibrant and more immersive and immersive was a word when i was listening to this this video about the details i was looking for them to say immersive because if i had another fault about the first game is that i didn't feel like the areas and the locations that you went to were that immersive in terms of interaction um, you kind of go to these towns and you can't really do much but like talk to a few people. Um, you couldn't go in a lot of the, the, the buildings. Um, you couldn't, 
you know, have activities within the um, the towns and stuff like that. I wanted them to to make it feel more lifelike rather than just static people standing around. You know, make me feel like I'm actually there um, interacting with different people, doing different things with different people within the actual town. So they, they're probably going to be able to make those towns a little bit bigger. Um, they did a great job, I thought, of uh, displaying the cultures of of these places within the town. Like each one looked different and stuff like that. So I thought they did a good job there, but just making it more immersive, more interactive, having more things to do within these towns um, is something that I feel like they, they're gonna be able to improve on, especially with the power of the PlayStation 5. Um, making the worlds more detailed and vibrant, like I said, being able to climb, cause climbing is a big thing, uh, you know, traversal and platforming is a big thing. Being able to climb pretty much anything that you see I think it's going to be very important. I know a lot of comparisons for Horizon Zero Dawn came about when, because it came out, out, out around Breath of the Wild. So many people compared the two and Breath of the Wild, you could pretty much climb anything you want. Horizon had its limitations. So um, being able to climb pretty much anything that you see, I think would be another great addition to the game. The SSD. Talked about the SSD. We saw examples of it a little bit with Ratchet and Clank. And they're saying basically virtually no loading screens in this game and that fast traveling and checkpoints will be super fast. So already the SSD has been put to great use in terms of eliminating loading screens or virtually eliminating loading screens. So it's not going to be completely gone, but very, very limited or they may, may be able to work it, work it in a little bit better where you definitely don't even notice it. And not like those, you know, squeeze through the little corridors and that's clearly hiding a loading screen or something like that. So, um, you know, in addition to the, the locations that we saw in the trailers and from the previous games like valleys, deserts and ruined cities. Of course, um, if you watch the trailer, you saw Aloy underneath water. So they detailed that you will be able to explore what's hidden beneath the surfaces of lakes and rivers in this game. Excellent. A whole new dimension to this game going against some of the machines underwater now you know i know the snap mall was in the first game but being that we can go underwater now not only is it potential to take on those enemies underwater but there's also potential for new machine types underwater that we have to fight against so this adds a whole new dynamic a whole new dimension of gameplay um and typically i don't like underwater segments in games but i i have faith in guerrilla games and their gameplay to make it work and to make it right um and uh, uh in addition to the snap mall or well, snap mall is old but in addition to what we've seen in the trailer you saw the shell snappers which look like the big large turtles they said those guard shores and swamps uh tremor tusk was more at the end which is like the the big mammoth looking enemy type they said that's loaded with weapons and heavy plated armor um those look like they're going to be a beast to take down and then at the also at the end of the trailer we saw what they refer to as sun wings which is another flying type of machine now when i saw the sun wings i thought we were immediately going to get gameplay showing her mounted on the sun wings and flying through these you know these areas now i have no doubt in my mind that you will be able to traverse Horizon Zero, Horizon Forbidden West mounted on a bird. And I believe the sun wings will be those birds that you can mount and traverse the lands. These lands are going to be massive, huge, as I said earlier. So you're coming across deserts. Like, you think you're only going to be able to, you know, mount the, um, oh, the I'm losing its name, but the, the horse looking machines. You think you're only going to be able to mount those to traverse through the, uh, the areas no i think they're called the striders or the or the broadheads and the chargers like you can you can mount stuff like that to get across certain areas but we are talking massive size areas so the sun wings mark it down those will be mountable in this game i'm sure they're going to show that at a later date in terms of gameplay um this game is expected to have new tribes some peaceful some are hostile that's obvious um it was like that in the first one um just also they, they went into more details about the state of the world pretty much collapsing biosphere red blight infects the land choking wildlife and starving animals and tribes 
um, the weather is out of control and has generated massive supercell storms. And then we also saw, spoiler alert, if you haven't beaten the first one, we also saw Silence at the, um, at the end of the Forbidden West trailer. He clearly seems to be up to no good. If you played the first one, you know what he's about. Um, but in terms of hostile tribes, he seems to be working in cahoots with a couple hostile tribes taking over the machines um, and infecting them and stuff like that. So it's a lot of different dynamics going on in this world. Aloy is, of course, exploring, trying to find hidden secrets, figure out everything that's going on in this world and, and what's making all of this stuff happen in addition to what Silence had played a part in in the first game. So very good video. Like I said, I'll leave the description down I mean, I'll leave the link for it down in the description. Please go watch that, especially if you've been a fan of the first game and you're looking forward to hearing about more information about the sequel, Horizon Forbidden West. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about this video. Were you um, excited when this game was first announced? I know I was. I knew immediately once I heard the music um, what, the, what the game was that was going to be shown. So obviously, I'm looking forward to it. You can always check my channel because I'm probably going to be updating you guys on any new information that i get about this game maybe we'll see something about multiplayer soon you know they said they were working on co-op in the first one they had to scrap it will they bring it back i hope so rate the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll catch you on my next one peace